Hello. So if you was to ask me what a typical day in the life of Rob is, then it would always start with a coffee. Every morning, get up, I have a coffee. Sometimes two. However, what do I do when I am in the caravan, or I'm in the van, or I'm camping? Um, to be honest, historically, uh, you know those sachets, the, the ground coffee, instant coffee, you know, the instant sachets, it'd be them. That is until now, or just recently. So, back in August, so I do owe a bit of an apology to be honest, back in August, uh, Outlin reached out to me and asked me if I wanted to take a look at one of their portable electric espresso machines. And of course, well, I enjoy coffee, so I said yes. So, um, I have been using it for a past couple of months to be honest, and if you have watched it in my prior videos, there's potentially you would have seen me using it because I do use it all the time. So it comes in this nice box. And in the box, you are greeted with a quick start guide, a sticker pack, a user guide, a warranty book, one year warranty, and inside here is the actual, so the unit itself, uh, a cup, a basket for ground coffee, spoon, and a USB type C charging cable. So this is the unit itself. It is nice and light. It only weighs in at 670 grams, which makes it perfect for travel and outdoor adventures. And um, I know the specifically van lifers and caravan lifers, you know, off grid at least, people struggle to run coffee machines. Um, so this thing is absolutely perfect. So what this does, it's battery powered, rechargeable, like I say, USB-C. It comes in five different colours, so it's good for a variety of people. Uh, it is self-heating and it brews an espresso in under 200 seconds and that's from cold water. So it will heat the water and it is compatible with so you take the cup off, so that's a, uh, well, stand, but also doubles up as a cup. And then you get, so you get two baskets. So this particular one is for fresh ground coffee. So you put your coffee in there, put your lid on, jobs are good in. Or you get this other basket and that's, that takes the, you know, the little capsules. So capsule goes in there. Uh, pu push it down. I'm not going to push it down because it will pierce the pierce the uh, pierce the capsule. So uh, push it down in there. Pop this on. Just take that off for demonstration purposes. Pop this back on. Screw it back on, and then proceed to make your coffee. So what I am going to do is I am going to make a coffee, but I'm going to make it with ground coffee. So fresh ground coffee. And uh, in true Blue Peter style, here's some my ground earlier. True story. So, with the cut, uh, with the spoon, so you get a spoon to measure out your coffee. Which also doubles up. So the spoon doubles up as a tamp. So the end of the spoon, tap your coffee down, pop the lid on, put it back in the case, and you screw that on quite tight. So what you do then, this all depends really on your on your situation. So uh, when I'm at camp, so you can either put cold water in, like I say, or you can actually put hot water in. So if you put hot water in, you double press the button and it will extract the espresso, espresso straight away. Uh, and you can do that up to 200 times on the battery life of the, of the unit. Uh, if you are putting cold water in, 
it will boil it for you um, and and it'll, it'll, it'll extract the, the, the espresso up to five times on the battery life. So that's just something to bear in mind. So if you have got access to hot water, so if I'm camping to be honest, I'll heat the water up first, drop some water in and then uh, and, and do it that way. Yeah, so to activate self-heating mode, so I've put cold water in there now. So water's gone in, coffee's in, so to activate self-heating mode, I'm going to press a button on the front for two seconds and I will hear an audible beep. And what that's going to do now is that will heat the water up inside and we will be able to keep an eye on how long it's going to be taking using the, the lights across the front. So yeah, using this machine, so you can obviously make this machine, espressos, lattes, cappuccinos, whatever your favourite coffee is. So if you are struggling to, uh, to find that person, that special person in your life for Christmas present this year, why not treat them to, uh, to an Outland espresso machine? So what's going to happen in a minute is, once the fourth light um, illuminates, it will just start extracting the, the coffee. You do have to, there's not, there's not much more in, there's a very, very small window, a very, very small warning, like an audible warning, and then it just starts, starts extracting the, uh, the espresso. So the fourth light is flashing now, so that means any second now it will be brewed and the espresso will be poured. And with 20 bars of pressure, it is an authentic espresso. Hear the audible beep. There we go. Not even any drips. So, due to that uh, 20 bars of pressure, you do actually get a rich creamer as well. It's uh, it's a it's a proper espresso. So what I normally do is, like I say, when I normally camp camping, I will fill it with hot water, and that will then last um, that lasts ages. But with cold water, it only lasts four to five brews. So it's something to bear in mind. But also, I do like an Americano, so I will normally um, boil some water, pop it in the machine, and then top this up with boiling water. However, I do know people like a latte or a cappuccino when they're uh, on their travels. And uh, with a very cheap milk frother, I've got this one from my local Middle Isle supermarket, if you know what I mean. I do like to do myself a latte. So while that milk is throffing up, if you are interested in buying yourself a uh, an espresso machine or a loved one, that loved one who you don't know what to get for Christmas but they love their coffee, if you follow the link in the description and the discount code appearing on screen right now, you'll save yourself 10%. So yeah, I can't lie, I use this all the time. Again, if you've seen the other videos, there we go, the froth is ready, I think. There we go. <laughs> Cheers. So that was the Outlin Portable Espresso Machine. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you next time.